Yo guys, uh, we're back with another video. Um, just walking down the roads here. Uh, this is Chesterton Road in Cambridge. Um, so we're heading to the Job Centre Plus today. Um, just started a little bit before we get there. So, uh, just want to say, obviously, uh, you may have noticed in my previous videos, I haven't really given a name to my channel yet. I hadn't come up with one. Just trying to think, um, obviously, making sure that the uh, anything I'm thinking of isn't already out there as well. I was actually reading the book 1984 recently by George Orwell. Um, fantastic read, by the way. If you haven't read it. Um, quick synopsis is, you know, the, the book is about a police state um, called Big Brother who kind of watch and control your every movement, your every thought, your every facial expression. So, yeah, it's about a totalitarian police state, um, which uh, I think a lot of us in this community feel like we're heading towards the police abusing their powers, which is why we're out doing what we're doing. Um, so yeah, we kind of decided. I've decided to uh, call this channel "Power to the Proletariat." Uh, yeah, guys. So hit the subscribe button, like the videos. Um, please feel free to share them. Um, everything helps. Um, you know, the more information we can get towards. Uh, getting this channel up, getting more views, getting public information out there is fantastic. So here we are, this is the Job Centre Plus on Chesterton Road. So it says, please practice social distancing. Um, obviously, we're in November 2021, there's a, they do ask you now to social distance and practice the guidelines, but you know, there are no official rules. Uh, so this is the signs here on the front. Pardon? You're not allowed to film the job centre. You're not filming, are you? Yes, I am. You're yeah. not allowed to film me, I'm afraid. Oh, I absolutely. I, I am, sir. You don't have written permission. Do I need written permission? You need written permission from the building, yes. Uh, from who do I need written permission from? You need permission from the building yeah, manager. Yeah, you need or the job centre manager. You don't need to film me either. Yeah, I'm just getting, uh, getting your badge. That's fine, that's fine. You're welcome to create your own privacy if that's what you'd like Why to do. Why are you filming yeah. for? Because it's my rights to do so. You can film from the pavements, by all means. I can film from here. This is you a publicly accessible area. I would like you to review section 33 of the Criminal Justice Act 1972. Well, so you're not interested in what the law is. You're tr you're tr you've come out trying to give me directives. That would be fa If that's what you'd like to do, that would be fantastic. You're welcome to do so. Uh, yeah, so there we go, guys. Another couple of jobs worth thinking that they have the right to tell me what to do when they don't. Um, so, yeah, as I said, some public information on the front of the building here. Oh, it's a bit chilly out today, a bit chillier than the last couple of days. Might have to invest in some gloves, you know. Uh, that one's a bit better. the handle but it's actually an automatic door. You haven't got permission to film. I don't need permission. You do need permission. I absolutely okay. do, do not. Need, what are you filming for? Because it's it's a public building. There's, still, there's no reason, reason reason for you to film is there? This is a public building. It is. Yes. But you have to have permission okay. to film. You're backing me into a corner so I'm going to step away from the corner. Do not film. You're not allowed to film in here. Um, yes I am. Yeah. Pardon? You have to have permission. Well, uh, you're, 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 pub you're public employees, you're civil you employees. Have to have their individual permission. No, that's absolutely not true. No, it is true. You're al according to the law, according to the Human Rights Act, Article 10, you are allowed to film in any public areas 
This is a public yes, area. Not without the permission of the people in those public That's areas. absolutely not true. Any, is there is no expectation of privacy in public. No, I won't. Sorry. Can I, can I ask who you are? She's the press centre manager. You're the manager, and can I get your name? Yeah. Okay, that's fine. I mean, I think that's quite bad if you're, you're saying you're the manager and trying to... It's absolutely illegal to be taken in here. It's not. It is, without people's permission. It's, it's absolutely illegal. not. It is it's illegal. absolutely not. Yeah, I haven't given you permission, so forgive me. Okay. You don't need to give me permission, you're in public. Okay. But her individual rights are affected. No, no, that's, it's absolutely not. It is. There's, a, there's no expectation of privacy in public. No, I've just come to film a public building. Why would you want to film because a there is public information in this building, they and I may, I, what I'm doing, totally I don't have to answer your questions, but I will tell you what I'm here doing. Yes. I'm here recording matters of public interest. Yes. I'm gathering content for a story, and that's what I'm doing. Without this is permission. this is a public building. Can you put your mask back up, please? I've got mine on. Um, um, pardon? Okay, you have. Okay, that's fine. As I said, it was a request. I'm not saying, you know, but I just do, so you don't have to. Um, but yeah, so I, as I said, I'm in a public area of a public building. Going about it the wrong way, pursuant, if you're doing it properly, I do not you need permission. permission. Do need I permission. do not need permission. Yeah. Pursuant to Article 33 of the, of the Criminal Justice Act 1972, I am allowed to be in any publicly accessible areas. Yes, you can be, yes. Yes. But you can't be recording. yes, I can. Not individual people, you Yes, can. I can. If you hadn't come and approached the camera, I wouldn't have focused my camera on you. Well, like the I said, was already focused on the job centre. On the job centre, yeah. but well, just warning the police, that's right? absolutely fine. That's absolutely fine. Yeah, until you get permission, you can't be doing that. That's this. not true. If, if you put the camera away, yeah. I'm happy to, to talk to you. Right. This. So you're saying that you're treating me differently because I'm, I'm recording. I'm recording you without my permission. Do you realise that's a violation of Article 14 of the Human Rights Act? I am free from discrimination. Um, Based on, based on, uh, she is, she's saying that I can't be here if I'm recording, but I can be here if I'm not. So what you're doing, I'm exercising Article 10 of my Human Rights Act by recording. So by saying that I can't be here if that. I, but if I you're saying, but let me, can I finish? No, I'm very, very happy about that. I'm not happy that we've got public people in the, in the public And I'm not recording then. And I am not happy that you're recording in here. And you don't so have to be happy you, about you, it. You're doing an article. You no, you don't. It's courtesy to ask permission first. It doesn't matter. Um, yeah. but you're not going to go any further in here. I'm going to. I'm going to go in the public no, lobby, no, and I'm going no, to no, film. I'm going to film. Not. I'm going to film this public no, information no, that's no, on the wall absolutely here. Absolutely not. Without you, without an appointment, you, you're not going to do that. So you are going to stay here until the police comes along and they take you away. Okay, I'll just stand here. That's well, absolutely fine. They will delete all the images you have on oh, your they account. absolutely do not have that right well, under any circumstances. <laughs> is that, is, do, do you genuinely think that that's the law? Do you genuinely think that that's the law, that the police have the right to access my phone and delete footage from it? Under circumstances, yes, they have. No, they don't. They absolutely do not. Absolutely do not. You need to educate yourself on the law if you're going to be giving directives like that, sir, because that's absolutely not true. I'm trying to get this public information that's on the wall here. No, I don't know why you're trying to stop public information. Do you understand what Article 10 is of the Human Rights Act? So let's move out of the way of these gentlemen. Off you, sir. I'm not recording you. Don't worry. That's absolutely fine. Yeah, you're welcome to go. As I said, I've not. You know, I've no interest in recording the public in here. They are public employees, sir. They are. Un they are open to scrutiny. I don't need your permission. I absolutely do not. Absolutely do not. I've just told you, Article 10 of the Human Rights Act, Section 33 of the Criminal Justice Act, 1972. Um, so yeah, I absolutely do not need. Your don't permission. Go any further than here, okay? Is there any is there any restricted access signs here, sir? No, there's not. This is a publicly accessible area. Why so would you be interested in all these signs for? Because it's public information. I told you, I'm gathering. Is it really that much of an interest I'm, to you? I'm telling you, I'm gathering matters of public interest. And that's what I'm here doing. If you hadn't approached the camera, I would have been. You're already filming anyway. I, I would have been in and out we in asked seconds. You not to film, and then you still came towards the job centre. When you were on job centre property? Yes, because I, you, you asked me. That's a request. Yeah, so I don't. You, you I don't. But pardon? You ignored that request. I don't. I don't need to listen to what you to, to your well, request. You, you know, you, it, it is you a know, request. 
That's okay. Uh, yeah, that's uh, this is the reaction you get at the job centre oh, apparently. Uh, again, I don't need your permission, sir. Would you like to present yourself as a... Uh, no, no, you don't. That's fine, I've already got your yes, badge on camera. Don't need your permission again, sir. Absolutely do not. So they're still doing the test and trace. They've got the code up there. That's absolutely fine. Do not film mm. anybody, please, other than just what you're looking at, general information. Yeah, that's what. absolutely fine. Okay. I've got some flyers on the desk here. This is confidential information, so you cannot uh, be filming that. Okay? Oh, so you mean uh, the one that you have the onus under the GDPR to hide from the public, like you've just done, which is, which is good, but that shouldn't be on view to the public anyway. Well, that's, that's actually, exactly, that's not that's what you've just said. but that's absolutely a breach of GDPR by having that on display in any. Like well, you came into the job centre. Well, so you, you always have it turned over like that. Where you know. It's for you, so you don't film it. <laughs> But whether or not I film it, I can come in. If, if I weren't filming, I could come in and I could look at that. I could memorise it. I could go home and write it down. You do, you under so do you understand why that's a breach of GDPR? You shouldn't have the whatever public's information say. on display like yeah, that. Whatever you say. Mm -hmm. It absolutely is true. Well, that's, that's your, you know, side of it. So yeah, yeah. You can take on that. <laughs> it doesn't matter. So well, you don't think it's a matter that you're disseminating it public, matter, you're that you're, dis staff, so, you you're know, disseminating public information? I'm not in the, that was I said. So well, don't try and film any confidential awesome. information. Okay. Well, that, that onus is on you to make that private. It's not on me. Which is what I've done. Okay. Yes, you have. Absolutely. Yeah. I commend you for that, at least. That's the, probably the only right thing that you've done since I've been here. Uh, what's this one? We're just looking at the I'm just place. looking at the information. Yeah, Customer information. Yeah, Caroline, you've got some information here. I moved it to one side. Yeah, just saying that's actually a breach of uh, GDPR guidelines having that public information on display like that. Do you understand? It was turned over. It was, it was turned over. It was turned over? Yeah. I I'd never touched it, but it was on display. I could see it, and that's public information. You're disseminating private information, which is a breach of your GDPR guidelines. got recycling, that's good. Uh, I don't know if you can see on the floor here, they've got marked, outlined areas to come and go from. That's a safe standing area. <laughs> Not safe? Safe. Mm -hmm. To the left. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, see, as you can see, they've got their CCTV running, they've got cameras, but not okay for the public to have cameras as per usual. That's a way out, so I hope nobody tries to go in that door. Uh, yeah. This is sort of an interesting building. Button. Warning. Don't film anybody, please. Any members of the staff? Warning, beware of threat. Uh, you don't need to film me either, okay? Oh, it's your approach. You've approached the camera, sir. You've made yourself. Well, the camera, it'd be recording, isn't it? Well, yeah, because you've approached me and we're having a conversation now. No, it could be because you've approached me. The camera looking this way, it's recording, yeah. isn't it? To be fair, if you hadn't called the police, I would have been gone by now. But I, I don't I think so. I don't think you would have been. I would. I told you. I, I just wanted to come and do a quick video, get the public information, and I would have Why been gone on my way. To film a job centre? Because it's, it's a public building. There is public information here. Yes, which is freely available to the public. Absolutely, and that's what I'm doing. I'm making sure... You could have just asked for that information. I'm making, yeah, and I'm making sure that the public knows where this building is, what they, they can get here, the, the services. The, the came and apparently, the apparently, guys, if you come here, what you get is told to do things that they have no right to tell you not to do. Um, yes, yeah, that's not That's nothing that you can stop me from doing, no, that. That's debatable. It's that's absolutely not debatable. Really the law is very clear-cut on it, actually. Um, Would you mind not pointing the camera at me, please? Okay. Why? Because I don't want to be filmed. Well, you got my if you don't want to be filmed, so I suggest you go into a private area because this is a public area. I have to work in the public area. Well, then <laughs> exactly. So you're under scrutiny Just of put the your public. Down and stop pointing it towards me. Okay? I'm okay, thank you, sir. All right. I'm okay, thank you, sir. I'm just recording for my own safety at this point because uh, you're approaching me and trying to give me directives that you have no right to give me. Um, I'm sure you've got too much time on your hands if you're uh, reading all this information. So, yeah. 
I'm just going to wait around here, guys, for the police, because uh, obviously I don't want the police out looking for me. I know. Oh, I, I know. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to the, to the camera. Thanks, sir. Um, but yeah, obviously I don't want the police it's looking around for me, so I'll wait here and well. have that conversation with the police. Uh, hopefully the police will inform the security guys here that I'm well within my rights to do as I'm doing. Uh, hopefully the police don't abuse any of their power or violate my human rights today. Um, so this is the manager of the job centre who doesn't, doesn't wish to identify herself, um, which is quite abhorrent for a civil servant. Um, but yeah, so I don't know how I'll go about making a complaint against this lady. I'm sure if I uh, do a public access request through the council, they would be able to give me her information. No recently used apps. Hey, do you not use your phone much, sir? Oh. Oh, she uses when it's convenient. Ah, okay, fair enough. Uh, that's the same, no recently used apps. Quite interesting. Yeah. 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 Oh, hopefully the police don't take too long. Oh, there's a police van over there. Look, that might be here for me. I oh, don't know. They're getting in their van and driving away, so I don't think they're here for me. Oh, that's a shame. I'd like to get this over and done with so I can go on about my business for the day. But shame that they had to go and uh, call the police, really. But as I said, I'm not going to run away. I don't want the police out looking for me. I just want to have the conversation with them. Do you understand what a pub publicly accessible area is, sir? This is a public access area. Yeah, it is, yeah. I I'm, gl I'm glad you acknowledge yeah. that. I'm glad you acknowledge that. I'm not allowed to talk to you now. Okay, okay that's fine. I'm still, I'm still allowed to ask you questions. You don't have to answer. That's absolutely fine. Uh, what is it that stops you from being allowed to talk to me? Is, is that like your, your policy? Is that your rules? Is that, is that oh, you, oh, you're G4S. What a surprise. <laughs> Classic G4S. Is, that, is it part of G, G4S policy that you're not allowed to talk to photographers? Okay. I don't want you filming me. Is it, is it part of G4S policy that you're not allowed to... Uh, None of your business, uh, okay? None of your business. That's fine. Uh, I can actually record you. you. You can, you're absolutely right, you can. But you really understand that if you record me on that, because you're working in a public capacity, I can actually make a subject access request for that footage. Perfect. So, and, and, and that's from your personal device, I assume. I'm assuming that's okay, not a work phone. Camera away from us, okay? I'm okay, thank you. Okay, guys, if you're anybody here is uh, job hunting, there's a new Holiday Express Inn opening in Camborne. Uh, guaranteed interviews available for job centre customers. So, yeah, if you're uh, using any of the job centre services, then that's one to look out for. Camborne's not too far from Cambridge. I think it's about a 20-minute bus ride if you don't drive. I don't know how long it takes to drive it. I haven't been out that way in a long time. Do you have a written policy anywhere that says that we're not allowed to film in this building? No? So guys, do, do you have a written policy anywhere that says I'm not allowed to film? Do you have like anything written down that I could have a look at um, that says that the public can't record in this building? I can't see any signs in here that say no, no cameras, no photography. Uh, and also you've, you've all got body-worn cameras on, uh, which I'll make subject ac access requests for, um, so I can get a copy of that footage. Uh, also, you haven't identified yourselves, but I'll just put these images through to the council and they'll be able to give me your information and I'll be able to then access the footage. 
Um, but yeah, I was wondering if you have a written policy that I can see anywhere that says, you know, perhaps a, excuse me, uh, manager, do you have a written policy anywhere um, that says anything about filming in this building? No, nobody wants to show me a written policy, so it's just your feelings that you're trying to enforce, the fact that you don't like being on camera. I suggest that if you don't like being on camera and you don't like being under public scrutiny, you don't work in public buildings, would be my suggestion. Obviously, can't stop you from working where you work, it's absolutely fine. But, uh, yeah, guys, I mean, you should, you should be expecting more of this in times to come, really, because it's what people do these days. Cameras are everywhere, you've got cameras in here, you're on multiple cameras as you walk down the street. The UK is one of the most camera heavy states in the world. Um, maybe second to America, probably China as well, because you know, China. But, uh, yeah, I'll see these guys <laughs> don't want to talk. Nobody wants to show me a written policy, but they're just trying to enforce the fact that they don't want to be on camera, but yet they continue to work in a public capacity, which is fine. You have an SIA badge, so you don't have one on display. Do you understand that while you're working in your official capacity as a security guard, you should have your yeah, SIA badge on display? Yes, I do. So why is your SIA badge well, not on display? Well, then when you come out from your break, then you should have your SIA badge, shouldn't you? That's an exit only door, sir. Can you not, can you not read it? Way out. No? Okay. This gentleman's got his on his arm, this gentleman's got his on his clip on his shirt. So yeah, they're following the rules of the SIA, which is good. It's actually section nine of the SIA rules that they should have it on display while working in their official capacity. Um, Yeah, hopefully they learn from uh, what they had on this desk here and they don't continue to have that information on public display. Um, I might do a revisit at some point and if they do continue to have that on display when people walk in, I might put in a uh, complaint for breach of GDPR. Um, if I were coming in and I had to give my details to sign in as I came in, I wouldn't be happy that everybody subsequently coming after me would be able to see my details on the forums. Um, from what I could see on the forms, there was names, date of birth, um, addresses or something like that. Um, so yeah, it's quite a lot of public information that was on display there. Uh, it's quite disappointing really. Uh, you'd expect better from government controlled uh, public facilities. But there we go. We will do our best to help you listen to you and make sure that you feel comfortable dealing with us. Wow. Oh, look at that. We will also... <laughs> Protect your personal information. Our information charter tells you how. Oh, I'll be looking up that information charter because I'm pretty sure leaving public information out on the front desk is not protecting people's data and information. They will take any complaints seriously. Our leaflets, website, or staff can tell you how to complain. Okay, so uh, if I see the manager, manager again, I'll... Uh, Ask her what the complaint process is. I'm assuming with the security guards, the complaints will go straight through to G4S. 
I would complain to the manager here, but obviously she has no interest, so that seems pretty pointless. Really is a shame guys because I would have just been in and out but these guys wanted to try and give me directives that they have no right to give. Um, but yeah, so yeah, it's just a stairwell through there, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that one's open. So there we go, this door is to be locked at all times, keys always G4S in the gatehouse. That door was open. It's interesting. Yeah. As, I, as you saw guys, uh, I just literally filmed every sign in the building. There was nothing saying that there was any restricted access up here. Um, absolutely nothing on those doors saying that I couldn't come through. Nothing saying that this is appointment only through here. Let's see, this is a stairwell. Get a good shot of that stairwell. Are you for real, fella? Are you for real? Pardon? Are you for real? Are you, impede are you impeding my way of walking, sir? Yes, you're not allowed so, to. So you understand what you're doing I now? I need instructions for you not to go upstairs. But okay? you say you understand, you realise you're just showing mobile numbers on the back of your phone. Um, you want to sit on this, what's your problem? I'm fine here, thank you. But you understand that what you're doing is actually detaining me from accessing publicly yes, accessible yes, areas. No that's for appointments only. Where, where, where are there any signs to say that? Does not need to have a sign. Yes, it does. Of course, it does. Okay. If this is a okay, let me explain. If council I were, if, if, if I were standing on a pavement which is owned by the council, owned by the government, the would I need your permission? Reason. Would I need permission to be standing on that pavement? Of course, I wouldn't. This is a publicly funded building, run by the Department of Works and Pensions, I think it is. This is a public. So if, 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 me, right? if I'm having okay. a conversation with you, so no. Yeah, you if 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 there are. If there are any areas that you don't want the access to public, they should either be locked or they should have signs clearly stating that it's a staff only area. Okay? Uh, so, pardon? No, no, no. Okay. I'm just saying this is for appointments only upstairs. Yeah, well, is, is there, are there any signs that state that? Exactly, you don't need to see signs. That's yes, of course I do. No, you don't. It's a public building. If something is unlocked. No, it will be explained to you if you came to reception, okay? And you spoke to a member of the staff, it will be explained to you. But the thing is, I don't have to come in and talk to anybody. Of course you don't, but if you did, that would be explained to you. Yes, but if I didn't, or I were hard, or I were deaf, and, I, and do you have anybody here that signs sign languages? Mm -hmm. So if I came here and I was deaf, and I couldn't hear any instructions, and I saw that door, would it not be reasonable to assume that I could walk through that door because there's nothing to say that I can't in a publicly accessible building? The member of staff will try to help you and guide you, you know, just the way you need it to go. In a public building, if something is unlocked and there are no signs saying keep out, staff access only, then it is an area in which the public are openly invited to be in. Anyway, we're not having this debate, fella. Are you leaving or are you waiting for the police? I'm waiting for the police. I told you, I'm not, I'm not going to run away from the police. I don't want the police out yeah, looking for me. see what the latest is with the police? Uh, no. Yeah, I've quite clearly told you, I'm not, I'm not, I don't want the police out looking for me. I'm going to wait for the police. We'll have that conversation with the police. That's fine. Because the police, I'm sure, will inform you that I have every right to do what I'm doing. And if the police want to take the matter further, then they'll be breaching their own rules and policies and things like that. So, but hopefully they'll just come in and they'll say, "Well, I haven't, I haven't been, any, I haven't been abusive, I haven't been abusive to anybody, I haven't called anybody names, I haven't raised my voice." So, you know, there's no public disorder going on. Um, well, you cause a disruption by approaching me. And so you guys are now at 4.15. So we've got 45 minutes until this building closes. The police response time in Cambridge can be pretty slow. I've had did you get your FIA badge again, sir? I did. Cool. You should, again, you should have it on display yes, under I section 9. 
Under Section 9 of the SIA Act, you should absolutely have that on display while acting in your official, official capacity. I don't have the right to ask for your number. It was there on display. I was just doing my job in there. Okay, I was going to say, you don't go there. But now, but now I don't know that you're an SIA licensed member of security. You should, could just be General Joe Bloggs. Well, if I'm one, I'll try and do something on the back on display. <laughs> I see, okay. Fine, make a report to the SIA. Yep. Okay, along with your number, your, sorry, your picture and uh, the information of where the building is until they'll be able to identify you. See you shaking your head in the in the reflection there, but <laughs> trying to non-verbally communicate with his colleagues. Don't know if you can see that in the reflection. Yeah, you can. You can see that in the camera. It's quite funny. Thing can be seen all the police from trying to talk about me. This must be uh, something they learn uh, when they're doing their SIA course: eye movement communication. <laughs> uh, that's something they teach you in the Secret Service. There we go. A little smirk, a smirk from Mr. D4S over here. <laughs> he's he's finding it quite amusing. He's loving it, really. <laughs> he's trying. He's trying really hard to keep his composure. <laughs> oh, sorry, that's quite funny. He's loving it. <laughs> he's actually been the most sensible one here, actually. He's, I'd say he's probably been the most professional. He's kept his mouth shut. He hasn't interacted with me. He stood around and made sure his colleagues were safe, which was fantastic. He's actually been an absolutely, probably the smartest member of staff in this building so far. So k kudos to you, my friends. You're doing great. Yeah, I was explaining to these gentlemen, if they hadn't called the police, I would have been gone, been gone by now. But they've called the police. I don't want to want the police out looking for me. So I'm just going to wait around and have that conversation with them. Um, and hopefully the police, yeah, hopefully the police will. You know, just kind of let you know. See, this is how it should have been from when I first walked in, really. I should have just been walked in, I should have filmed, you guys should have just stood around. Observe, by all means, that's your job to observe. And I should have been able to film the public information as I wanted to do and been on my way. And that's how it should have been from the get-go. Um, you know, there was no, hi, sir, how are you? How can I help you today? It was, you can't do that. You can't be in here doing this. You, can't, you know, it was straight away with directives that you have no right to be in at the end of the day. Um, and then straight away calling the police, even after I'd explained what I was doing, which I didn't have to do. Um, but so, but yeah, I mean, if it had been like this from the get-go. Yeah, of course, yeah, yeah, I've already asked what time you close. I won't stay here past that. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But like, I'm quite happy to have a cordial conversation with somebody, and that's the thing, you know. Um, like I said, if it had been like this from when I got here, I would have been gone by now. Um, this gentleman in the blue jacket, he's been probably the smartest one here. He's, he hasn't said a word to me. Um, you know, so he's, yeah, he's probably been the, the best one so far. And you're doing well as well, to be honest. You're very quiet, very, 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 very cordial. Not trying to tell me to not do things that I can do. As I explained to your colleagues earlier, you know, there are no restricted access zones. You're not going upstairs. Okay. You're not going up upstairs. Okay. Yeah, I'm just filming the information that's on the wall. I'm going to take a photograph over from here. You're not going any further, though, are they? Okay. Well, that's just a smaller piece of the sign that we're really downstairs, really. Nothing more than what we've got there. Nothing special. They're all just ordinary information signs. Yeah, exactly, and that's what the public need. They need the information, don't they? Well, you don't, of course you do. Absolutely. But you don't need to film it. So well, of course I do. If, if, <laughs> and if somebody weren't living in Cambridge, but they were coming to visit, do you not think it would be good for them to have preemptive information on what's around? Or maybe they can make an informed decision before having to come all the way up here? You know, this is, that's what I'm saying. This, that's what I'm saying. That's why it's public interest. It's publicly accessible you don't information. You film it for the public, though, do you? Yeah, of course I do. Somebody has to. Yeah. Have every right to do so. That's debatable. It's absolutely not. 
I really think you. I really think, sir, in, in your own interest as well, because you have these rights as well. But you really should read up on the Human Rights Act, uh, Articles One through Sixteen. I think well, it is. I'm, I'm not interested, so okay. Okay. Well, I mean, if you don't want to know what your rights are, it's absolutely up to you. But you know, I think every citizen has the duty to understand what their rights are, so that they don't get bullied around by security trying to tell them things that uh, aren't true. You know, if I didn't know my rights, I might come in here and might be felt quite intimidated by s being surrounded by five security trying to give me directives. But because I know my rights and I know where I can be, I know what I can be doing, I'm not intimidated in the slightest. But that's what people bank on, though. That's the thing. Um, not all, I must say, I'm not all security guards, not all police. The, the, the chap has been lovely, the guy in the blue jacket, wherever he's gone, it's been grand. Um, but there are a lot of people out there that, in these roles that try to lord their authority and uh, go on a bit of a power trip and they rely on people not knowing their rights because um, that's, uh, that's how they get people to bend to their will. Yeah. So yeah, everybody guys, uh, I highly recommend if you haven't already reading up on the Human Rights Act, um, particularly out today, I'm exercising Article 5 Article 8, Article 9, Article 10, Article 11, and Article 14 of the Human Rights Act. So quite a few. Um, so definitely worth reading up on, making sure you know where you are um, and what you can be doing. Oh, it's going to be a long video. We're at 43 minutes already. Still no sign of the police. <sighs> If the police don't get here by the time they close, I'll just wait outside uh, the front for them for, for a bit longer. Um, if, if they don't turn up at all, I'll just go about my business. Um, it's a bit of a shame, I was hoping to kind of go to some other places today, and but it looks like I've got jammed up here instead. So keep an eye out for another video coming soon for other places. Anyway, my aim is to give you a comprehensive tour of public facilities around the city. Um, it's a shame I can't do more than one in a day by the looks of it. You know, if all had gone well and they'd done their job, I probably could have done uh, a good two or three this afternoon. Yeah. <laughs> you know, in an ideal world, these videos should be two to five minutes long at the max. I would say take a seat on those sofas over there, guys, but it's quite close to where people are having appointments and uh, I don't want to capture people's conversations that they're having with, uh, with the employees here. Um, although they are close to a publicly accessible area, so they should create more privacy if they want it, um, but I'm not going to be that guy. Um, I think there's a lady like right behind those screens talking to a customer. Maybe when they're done, I'll go have a sit down because I think that's the only one actually that might pick up on the camera if I sat there. Okay, it's quite warm in here. I would go stand outside, but. I reckon if I went and stood outside, they would lock the doors behind me and wouldn't let me back in. So I'll stay inside for now.
Are you, are you waiting to see anyone? No, no. Well, I'm, I'm apparently waiting for the police, so they called the police. Oh, right. Could you mind waiting outside then, please? No, I'm fine in here, thank you. No, I'd rather you do. But I'd rather I don't. You've got no reason to be here? Yes, I, I absolutely do. You tell me your reason. I don't have to answer your questions. Okay, I have we'll a reason to be here. Let's discuss it out here. I'm fine. I, we can discuss no, it here. I, I, understand what, I, un I understand what you would rather, but I'm okay. No, I'd rather you leave. I understand what you would rather. Yeah. But... I politely you have, you, have no, you have no rights to be here. Of course I do. Unless you, unless you have to see someone. Of course I do. So, so I'll ask you to leave again. Is this a public building, sir? It is a public is building. Is this a publicly accessible area of but public you're, building? You're, we're directing customers to another entrance to avoid this situation. And I have told the security so that... So you're, you're causing the situation? I have told security. If the public wants to leave, that's fine. I will not. I will put my camera at so the floor as the public come so and go. So what's your purpose for, for today? Well, <laughs> I really need to explain I'm, this. Because uh, I'm, yeah. I'm dying who, who are you again, sorry? It doesn't matter who I am. Well, it does. Well, who are you? Well, I'm a private person. If you're here working in, a fi in an official capacity... So, and so who are you? I'm a private person. So I'm a private person. But no, you're, if, 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 I don't, you haven't even identified if you work here. Yeah, well, I'm asking you to leave the building. If we could discuss it out here, I'm happy to, to answer all but, your questions. Yeah, but you're, you're asking me something. I mean... You, you're if, just causing... I don't know, if, I don't know what if, you want. If I was stood in a park and you came up to me and said, can you, can you come and talk to me over here? Can you leave this area? I'd be like, well, who are you? You have no authority over me. No, because I wouldn't do that. But why, so what gives you the authority to do that here? That's what I'm trying because to ascertain. Because I don't understand your purpose. You don't need to understand my purpose. Uh, well, I do, because no, I'm, I'm the facilities manager of this building. There we go. That's there all, you go. There so we go. You, you are... I'm a private person. So you're not going to give me your name? Absolutely not. Pursuant you're not going to tell me your reasons why you're here? Under Article 8 of the Human Rights Act, I have the right to privacy. Under Article 9, I have the right to my beliefs and thoughts. Yeah, but you have the, uh, we have the right to ask you why you're yes, here. Yes, you, you, ha you have so the right to ask. I so have the right to refuse that so question. So we don't know who you are, what you are, where you come from. We, for all, all we're concerned, you could be a threat to us. Have I, have I acted in a threatening manner towards anybody here? Y you may or may not, but we don't know that. Have I given off any signs that I'm threatening no, to anybody? No, but we've asked you very politely to step outside and answer your questions out there. So you can so answer my questions here. You an you, you're an issue now. You're creating me to no, be you are, an issue. No, you are the issue no. because you're not, you're not understanding where we're coming from. You're not, uh, we asked you to leave the building. You have no purpose here to see anyone. So there's no reason why you should be here. Well, right now I'm here to see you because you're approaching my camera well, and you're I'm having a conversation. Well, I'm happy to step outside and talk to you. And I'm happy to talk to you here. But come on, let's, let's, let's discuss it out here. I'm fine here, sir. So I'm fi absolutely fine here, thank but you. Yeah, but you've got no reason to be here. I absolutely do. I told you I'm waiting for the police right now. I don't want to wait outside why in the cold. Why do you want to wait for the police? Because they've called the police. Because they'll come here and say to you, right, you need to leave, please. And they'll say to the police, no, I don't. Oh, so you're just causing an issue. You're just being awkward. No. You are. I'm waiting for the police, and I'll explain this. I don't want the, because obviously the police have been called. I've been informed yeah. of that. I don't want to leave and walk around and have the police out looking for me. So I'm waiting for the police yeah. so I can have that conversation with them. So the police can then have that conversation with you and let you know that what I'm doing is protected under that's my fine. human if, rights. If, if you want to stand here for no apparent reason, that's entirely up to well, you. Well, it's not no apparent. As I've explained to these... Yeah, you're, 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 not, you're, not us, uh, you're not giving me anything to let I've, me know I've why already, you're here. I've already explained to these people, and they should have relayed that to you. Well, I'm asking you personally. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm coming to you and asking you yeah. a question. Why are you here? Okay. I don't have to answer your question, but I will. Oh, thank you. Okay. That's very kind of you. I don't, but you need to understand that I don't have to. Okay? I want you to acknowledge that first. Yeah, well, I, I, I will take this the next step after once you've told me. So okay. Because I'm waiting to hear this. Okay. What I've come to do yeah. is record matters of public interest mm -hmm. and right. gathering content for a story. Okay. Okay? Yeah. As I explained, if I hadn't, uh, I can't remember, I think I explained it to the bearded uh, security guard over there um, while I was just stood up standing around. If I had come in, and this is how it had been when I first came in, security just kind of stood around, observed what I was doing, didn't approach me, didn't try and give me directive straight off the bat, I would have been in and out in two minutes. I would have come in, filmed the signs that are on the wall, uh, given a bit of a talk to my viewers about what, what's available in the job centre, and I would yeah. have been on my way. Yeah, and any person in here would be happy to help you. But, but, but you're no, not but coming here and ask for anything. No, no but do, do you know, do you, you weren't here when I, was, when I first got here. No, do you, no, do I've you just arrived no. at the building. Do you understand how I was approached? No, I don't understand okay. anything. I, I, all, I, all my concern no. is I've approached you. Yeah, yeah. I've asked you why you're here. Yeah. I asked you, are you seeing anybody here? Yeah. And you said to me, no. And I said, well, what is your purpose to be in this building then? You don't have a purpose. You said it's your public right to stand here. It absolutely is. So for us, as all these employers and for myself, mm -hmm. it now becomes a safety issue. Why does it become a safety issue? Because we don't know who you are. 
I don't, I don't know who you are. So you see, we live in an environment where there's terrorist attacks. I'm not saying that you are one of those, <laughs> I and can, you may laugh and joke about I it. I can guarantee you there's been no terrorist attacks on job centres well, at any point in despite history. Despite that, we have a duty of care for other people, and okay. I have a duty of care for other people. Okay. So my duty of care is, I'm asking you, what's your purpose in here today? And I've told you. So you don't have a purpose in here. I no, no, I don't have a purpose. How long have you been standing I don't here have filming? A, uh, we are at 52 minutes. So I think you've got plenty now. Well, no, like I said, I'm waiting for the police because I don't want the police out looking for me. So I'm waiting here to have... So if so you leave now I, I, and the police come, I'll just say there's no need to look for this person. No, no, because this is also an information video now for you because I want the police to do it to explain to you that what I'm doing is my right to do. Oh, right, I see. Because okay. if you hadn't called the police and you had just gone about, I would have said to my viewers, oh. okay, guys, these guys oh, obviously... Are oh, you just playing awkward now? These guys respect my oh, rights. Right. Okay, I get um, that. I get I, that. I, these guys respect the uh, respect oh, I get, our I get, rights. I get, I get where you're going now. You just um, you're so so for all you YouTubers out there who uh, are looking, he's just playing you know silly buggers now because he's standing his ground. <laughs> he's got no purpose here. He doesn't want to be here, um, and he wants to be arrested and to make a point of it. So <laughs> you understand the police have absolutely no grounds to so arrest me we'll right now. We'll see when they turn up. But we will. We absolutely will. And so you say I have no so purpose being so here. So could you stand um, over there then, please? I'm fine to sit here, thank I'd you. I'd rather you stand over there. I understand what you'd rather, but I'm fine to sit here. Yeah, okay. See, what I don't like is that you're trying to give me directives without any right to give me directives. Right. Uh, if you would ask me politely... I'm asking you politely. No, you were. You said, can you stand over here? Oh, like, pretty please, could you stand over there? With a cherry on top. You want a cherry on top as well, <laughs> if you want to put it in there. I appreciate that, but no. And I'll give you a cake as well outside <laughs> if you really want it. What sort of cake? What flavour are we going for? Well, you step outside and I'll show you the cake. <laughs> That's not how it works. Yeah, I'll show, I'll show, you, don't show the, you don't show you don't show the stick before you show the carrot, I'll, do you? I'll, I'll, I'll go and buy you a You cake. show the carrot and then you show the stick. Yeah, Come on. Happy, I'll go and buy you the cake. Butterscotch would be nice. I, look, I like a bit of butterscotch. Let's where, where are we going? Anywhere you like. <laughs> I don't think anywhere's going to be open now to well, get I'm a sure butterscotch cake. I'm sure there's Tesco's, there's co-op down there. Oh, let's, co-op, co-op let's don't go. have any. Let's go then. Let's go, come on. <laughs> I'm all right, because like I said, I'm just waiting around for the police oh, at this point, yeah, you know. Yeah, that's right. Have they put the potatoes yeah. before? Yeah. Yes, yeah. yeah. So, that's... Yeah, exactly. Oh, you know. We close in 20 minutes. Yeah, that's... So you're going to leave then? Yeah, of course. Oh, yeah, right. I'm not going to stop you from going home and going about your life. Absolutely. No, definitely not. But yeah, so it's the facilities manager. Um, obviously, he says I have no purpose being here. It's just not a purpose that he recognises. Uh, it doesn't mean that there isn't a purpose. Um, uh, overall, I don't think he's a bad guy. You know, he's a bit jovial, which is quite funny. You know, a bit of a laugh. Um, but yeah. Again, trying to uh, tell me things that aren't true, saying that I'm going to get arrested by the police, which just isn't true. The police have absolutely no grounds to arrest me on. None whatsoever. Um, to be honest, guys, at this point, I don't think the police are going to make it here before they close. Um, but that's, that's, that's probably what the police are doing. The police probably got this call took one look at the call log and thought, oh, can't be asked with that, so they probably know what time the building closes and they're just going to play for time until gone five o'clock and they'll be like, oh, well, it's closed now, there's no point even going there because nobody will be there to answer the call. Um, you know, police have much better things to be dealing with than somebody recording in public. Are you read up on your human rights actor? Uh, have you read up on your human rights? No. I really think you should. There's a lot in there. Like you can get bullied around and pushed around if you don't understand what they are. You know, people will try to tell you things that you know you don't have to. You have rights in this country, sir. Um, definitely, I would recommend it. You know, it's, it's worth a read. And then again, like if, if if anybody else was coming into what I'm doing, you would then be clued up and be like, actually, he's doing this protected under this, this, and this, you know, and information is power, knowledge is power, at the end of the day. Mm. Yeah, 
the Human Rights Act is like our equivalent of the Constitution um, that they have in America. That, that's basically what it is. You know, it guarantees us certain freedoms, certain liberties. Um, but it's really important stuff. Really important. This gentleman here is just quite happy to be a bootlicker. Doesn't care about his human rights. Just uh, happy to be yes sir, how high sir. Right. This guy loves it. Have you calmed down? You've managed to control your smiles now? Yeah, fella. <laughs> Again, he's been absolutely the best one. Kept quiet, observed. <laughs> See, he's, he's, he's gone again, he's gone again, he's gone. <laughs> he's, he's walking away because he can't control his smile and his laughter. He loves it. <laughs> I like that guy. I wish he would talk to me. Cause like <laughs> he seems like a laugh. See, he's having to go down there because he can't, he can't, be, uh, he can't control himself. He knows the situation is ridiculous. He knows I should have been in and out in five minutes. <laughs> uh, he knows his colleagues are messing up a bit right now. I'm pointing the camera down, I'm not going to film this. It's actually uh, somebody here to collect some royal mail. Yeah. Employee of the royal mail. number for public information because I will be requesting the uh, body cam footages from the security officers here today. It is public information. Did you know that one, sir? That you know everything that you record on your body worn cameras, the person that you're recording can get copies of that. Yeah. Yours, yours doesn't work. Okay. I know a couple of them when I first came in, they were recording. They say they are part of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah oh, absolutely. Yeah. No, I absolutely yeah. encourage them to record. It's the same way that I'm recording. I encourage people to do it. You know, like I said, I came in to film the information. Um, but at this point, I'm actually recording for my own safety because you know, there was uh, five or five or six security officers here. Um, but. Yeah, a lot of people that work for G4S and that don't realise that, you know, when you record that the public can, can ask for copies of that. Um, I've, I've added four where I say, oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask for a copy of that. And you're like, well, you're not going to get a copy of this. And I'm like, <laughs> absolutely, I am. I'm okay, thank you. Fine. There, there are other areas that you can be. Until the police come. Yeah. Uh, and they'll, they'll deal with the situation. Okay. There are other areas you can be in if you don't well, want to be near me. Making me look like I'm nervous moving around. I'm just walking around because I'm bored of standing on one spot. Well, keep me all. Keep me all over there. Oh. Oh, okay. There you go. You there you go. There you go. Facilities yeah, you manager said no. I'm okay. It's a bit, it's a bit chilly out there. Well, you know, it's well away from home, isn't it? Pardon? 
Maybe. Is that a police vehicle? Mm, it's just a white car. To be honest, guys, I don't think the police are even going to bother coming. Yeah, they are. <laughs> you say that, but you're closing just under 15 minutes now. Oh, they do? Yeah. Okay, oh, that's fine. In that case, I'll definitely wait around. Uh, yeah, I've had to call the police many times. I've worked in retail for many, many years, dealt with many mm -hmm. shoplifters. Yeah, and uh, I know the police response time in Cambridge is very, very poor, especially when there's uh, they, they consider it to be absolutely no threat, which, to be honest, they've probably seen the call that we've made. I mean, like, somebody said, they've been... Uh, making a video in public, absolutely nothing to be concerned about. Um, but it's probably like the lowest of their priorities right now. Yeah. Yeah. Bit of a waste of police time, really. This gentleman gets it. The one in the blue jacket who can't stop laughing, he, get, he gets it. <laughs> this gentleman certainly doesn't. No. He's, he's just happy to be a bootlicker. Happy to be a bootlicker. That's exactly what it is. Tyrant, tyranny, bootlickers. Yeah, well, if, he, if he, he, he approached me in a very rude way, so why, why should I have to be courteous to him? I've been courteous to this yeah. gentleman. He's been absolutely fine. I've been courteous yeah. to that gentleman. He's been absolutely fine. I will not be courteous to people that approach me in a way that this fan did. Bully boy. That's the, the name. Tyrant. Bootlicker. Many of them. Many, many names for that sort of person. Police officers, is it? I guess not. Mm. Yeah, if nothing else, uh, I really hope you do end up going home and just have a quick Google of your human rights. If nothing else comes out, I hope that's uh, been some information for you. Yeah. You laugh, but it's absolutely vital that every citizen knows their rights. <laughs> but, but he's not going to, because he don't, he don't care. Or maybe he will. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I think this gentleman's a clever individual. I think he, he knows what's what. Lean on the hand railing. Here we go. Might be a police officers. Or single police officer. Hello there. Uh, the gentleman in question is standing over there. Hi there. He's asking what you do in regards to being the outcast of the tyranny you are and the way that it's so used in public health policies and things like that. So he's putting a question on behalf of the Shop House Council and asking. 
Okay. Hour and seven minutes from when I started recording. Afternoon on for evening maybe no it's afternoon so I think yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah it's just a bit confusing when it gets dark isn't it because uh, right. yeah can I just ask uh, name and colour numbers so I know who I'm talking uh, to yeah my colour numbers right there one two zero one two two Holloway P C Holloway Holloway yeah Holloway that's lovely. lovely thank you and what's your name oh, I'm okay thank you oh you, you don't want to give them no I'm good okay. thank you what's going on then um okay first of all you know I'm I don't have to answer your questions I think you understand that yeah. I'm just engaging the conversation. No, of course, of course. No, I'm I, interviewing you. I'm just no, having of a course. conversation. But you, know, you understand that I don't have uh, to yeah, answer any questions. Sure. Okay. Um, no, a lot of police officers try them to demand answers. So I just want to make right, sure okay. that you know you understand this is a consensual conversation. Um, so as I've explained to these people multiple times now, to various different people, I came in to record matters of public interest and gathering content for a story. Okay. Like I said, I'm just gathering matters of public interest. I uh, came here, started filming the exterior of the building. Um, mm -hmm. As I started walking up the steps, I had uh, two security guards, I think, come up to me. Um, very belligerent from the get-go, trying to tell me that I can't do this, I can't do that, I can't record this building. Um, I can't, you know, and I'm like, oh, well, absolutely I can. You know, this is a public building, it's a publicly accessible area. Um, I have the right to record. Um, they're all civil servants, I have the right to record them in their official capacity. Um, and yeah, anyway, as I said, I was, I was literally said to them, I just want to come in, I want to film the information that's on the walls, um, give people information about what's available in this public li in this public building, really. Um, if they hadn't been so belligerent from the get go, uh, I would have been in and out to in two to five minutes. Um, okay. So but you just made you stay over an hour. Oh, then. because they called the police, and I didn't want you guys out looking for me, because they would have given you a description. So I didn't want you guys out okay, looking for me. So um, I thought I'd wait around for you. Okay. Um, to have this conversation. Um, so what's your plan now? The plan is to have this conversation with you. I'd like yeah. you to inform them that I have the right to be here and do what I'm doing um, and explain that to and them. How long are you staying for now? Well, I mean, they close in like six minutes, so <laughs> no longer than that. Then. Yeah, so no longer than that. I mean, it depends how long you're here. I mean, you know, if, if you stick around after they've closed, I'll wait outside and uh, follow up with, you know, what it is that you've informed them. Because um, what I'd like for them to do is to understand that I do have rights in this country. Um, I have a right to be in publicly accessible areas, I have the right to record in public, um, and that a camera is not a weapon at the end of the day. Knowledge is a weapon because knowledge is power. I've uh, advised this gentleman to read up on his human rights and uh, he's been fine, you know, he seems to get it. Uh, some of the others don't. The one in the blue jacket over there, just for a second, he's been the best one. He hasn't said a single word to me um, and he's probably been the smartest one in this building so far. And he's, um, so yeah, he's probably been the best one. And that's how it should have been. If, if, he, if everyone had been like him, and I'd walked in, they'd observed me, um, which is their right to do. That's what the security guards for. They're there to observe and report. If they'd observed me, I would have been in, taken my video, and left. But because they decided to approach me, give me unlawful directives, and then call the police, it's made me have to stay here and wait for you, basically. Okay, cool. So you wait here. I'm going to take the video, and then I'm going to make a photo, and you're just following me. Uh, okay. So there's us, uh, PC Holloway. Um, yeah, she's done very well. She's listening to what I've had to say. She's going to have a chat with the facilities manager and the building manager. Um, hopefully she's going to inform them that I do have rights. That we have rights, people. We have rights.
you just let me know when you're ready to lock the door and I'll wait outside for the officer yeah, if he's yeah, not yeah. back. Yeah, 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 no worries, buddy. It's all good. Yeah. Did uh, TC Holloway inform you that I have the right to be here? No, no, she's just uh, come into the station and then yeah. uh, she'll inform you when it's five o'clock. Yep. Do you mind just waiting a bit? Yeah, I'll do. I just said that to, uh, yeah, to the security officer that I'll wait outside when he locks up, not a problem. Obviously, TC Holloway didn't detain me, so I don't have to wait here. But I will wait for her outside. Pardon? It depends on what the police tell you, really, um, and whether or not you understand... Pardon? What side of town? Oh, I mean, I'm not, <laughs> not telling you where I've come from. Uh, it's not the station, no, no, you can unsay it. <laughs> oh, that's actually a bit of an old one if you look at the date, that's 30th of October. Uh, but, but, yeah, so. But, yeah, so, so as long as the police inform you that I have the right to do what I'm doing and that you understand that, I might do a revisit at some point. Somebody else that sees my video might come and decide to, to do a revisit on my behalf. Um, and I hope that they have a better interaction with you. I hope this security guard's on duty because he knows what's up. Okay, lovely, Thank not a problem. Much, no worries. Thank you for having me, it's been a pleasure. <laughs> yeah, I'll wait out here for her. Cheers, buddy, have a good day, mate. See that? Oh man, the facilities manager was clock watching hard. He couldn't wait to get rid of me. <laughs> oh man, overall, not a great experience here at the Job Centre Plus in uh, Cambridge on Chesterton Road. Um, I would say there's two G4S security that have done uh, their job as they're supposed to do it. Um, the rest of them, absolutely not tried to restrict me from going to publicly accessible areas. There was nothing to restrict me from going up those stairs. Um, so yeah, what I'm gonna do is, uh, I'm just gonna wait around for PC Holloway. Um, I'm going to check the, and ask what it is that she's informed them of. Um, and if she tells me that she's informed them that I have the right to be here, at uh, some point down the line I will come and do a revisit and make sure that they've uh, fully taken that on board and they understand. Um, it's just one thing for the police to tell them something, but it doesn't mean that they're going to listen. Um, but yeah, we'll find out. Let's uh, wait around. Worst case scenario, hopefully she hasn't called for backup and she's not going to try and uh, arrest me for a public order uh, offence or anything ludicrous like that. Obviously, I've explained in full what I was doing here to PC Holloway. Not that I have to. Um, as you guys can see, you know, the only person I've been rude to was that bootlicker who approached me from the start. Uh, we'll call him Tyrant One, shall we? Seeing as he's 
chosen not to identify himself. Pretty sure I got his SIA badge when I first walked in, though. Uh, so hopefully the SIA will be able to identify him for me. Um, so this is the exterior of the building. Um, but I wonder if they have their blinds closed. They do. Ah, you see, that's. I uh, don't even see that. I'm not going to go any further. But that person there is an employee. They've got their screens on view for the public. Um, so I might just have a knock and ask the facilities manager if he's aware of that. Actually. facilities manager doesn't want to come out and talk to me. I think they're googling uh, the Human Rights Act right now. I just saw them all cuddled around looking at a phone. So I think what they were doing is googling the Human Rights Act. Um, <laughs> which is good. Which is fantastic. I, you know, I'm glad that they're doing it. Hopefully they'll get some knowledge and some information. Um, especially that bearded fat man. He knows what's up. Like, he's interested. I know he is. He wants to, he, he wants to know his rights and good for him. Yeah, no, facilities manager definitely doesn't want to come and talk to me anymore. He's had enough. Um, yeah. So, yeah, they've breached GDPR here twice today. Um, they had public information and private data on view on the front desk. Uh, from the exterior windows you can clearly see their work computers, um, you see their screens. Uh, so obviously when people are having appointments and the workers are putting in private information into those computers, anybody can walk past and get that information. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but I certainly wouldn't be happy about that. My public, uh, sorry, my private information being on display in such a way they have a duty to protect our data driving up. I think that was the police car. I didn't see her leave. Uh, she might have gone out of side building. There you go guys. Just got the walk of shame, they all just walked away. Missed it, but yeah, they all walked away. Checked that the doors were locked first. So yeah, hopefully PC Holloway, if that is her leaving, I might have a, go have a quick look. See if she's interested in having that conversation with me. Whoa. I'd hate for her to leave without following up with me. That would be quite rude, I would think. Definitely is a police vehicle. Excuse me! Uh, PC Holloway didn't want to have that conversation apparently. So guys, there we go, have it. That was uh, Job Centre Plus in Cambridge. Hopefully they've been informed on our rights. Um, they've turned off all the lights in there now. And, uh, yeah, that's that. So, guys, uh, 
power to the proletariat. Like, subscribe, share, hit me up in the comments, let me know what you think. Uh, let me know how you, what you think of the job that G4S Security have done at the Job Centre Plus here. Let me know what you think of the rude and belligerent buildings manager. Um, and let me know what you think of the uh, other guy, whatever he was. Facility, facilities manager, I think he said he was. Um, yeah, alright. Peace and love, guys. Take care.